So this is a transformation game, and it's a board game that was developed um, at the Findhorn Foundation in Scotland in 1976, and um, that was the original version. This version um, was developed later and um, came out onto the market as um, it's, it really provides people with a way of um, exploring and understanding and transforming key issues in their life. Um, those could be problems or challenges that they're having, or they could be um, new directions that they want to explore, um, or dreams or visions that they want to actualize. People can bring all sorts of issues to the game. And the way it works, it offers people a playful, but also quite a substantial way of um, exploring key issues in their life. And the way it's set up is that the, the, the game represents like a little mini lifetime. Um, so people come in and they bring their, the issue that they're wanting to work with, and they talk about that. Um, with the facilitator, or they can um, play it just on their own. The facilitated version allows, allows people to go into their issues in greater depth than just buying the game and playing it themselves. Um, and so people come in with their issue and they share it with their um, co-players. And um, so it's a bit like, you know, just the idea is um, before life, you come in with a, an intention or a focus or a purpose for your little lifetime. Um, and then you gather together all the resources that, that um, are going to help you achieve that intention or purpose. So everybody has what's called a personal unconscious envelope. And they put into that personal unconscious three different kinds of cards. Um, one card deck is the what's called the angel card deck. These um, are basically their different qualities: balance, expectancy, peace. Um, these are all they're, they're basically qualities that are real in our experience. So there'll be qualities that are going to help you with your intention or focus. You just do that just by the roll of a die. So in this case, it would be two angels would go into your personal unconscious. Um, and then an insight card deck. Um, and this, this deck highlights behaviors and attitudes that, um, or beliefs that um, basically are strengths or can be resources that can help you move ahead, that can bring you awareness and insight. So they all, have, um, they all have text on them like, um, you were brilliant, firm and steady in a very rocky situation, or um, you were radiant with compassion, or um, you took the initiative, and there's a hundred cards that kind of basically highlight strengths and resources. Then there's the setback deck, which also highlights different behaviors, attitudes, beliefs, but these are ones that cause you pain or difficulty or challenge. So it could be things like you're set back by resentment, or you spend time in a meeting wallowing in boredom, um, or let's see, you're set back by aggression. Um, so you fill the envelope, um, you had two angels already, so now we have six insights, so we would put two angels, six insights from anywhere in the deck. Okay, and then one setback. So all of these cards, the angels, the insights, and setback, then go into your personal unconscious. And then the purpose of the game is to have the contents of your unconscious become conscious in relation to um, your intention or issue. So you then start playing on the board, and everybody starts in what's called the source, in an unborn state. So now you've got your little package of material for your little mini lifetime, and you just roll around the source in a in this direction, and when you land on an angel square, you get born, and you come to the top of your life path. There are four life paths on the, on the board. They're all identical, 
but everybody will, walks their life path in a different way. So there are different squares. There are, um, there are blessing squares. There are um, insight squares. Insight squares, obviously, you get to take out one of your insights, setback squares. There are also um, squares that allow you to appreciate um, other players and yourself. So there's also pain in the game, just like there is in life. And it's represented by these little um, tears. Pain. You move along the path, experiencing different squares, and moving through different levels. There's the physical level, which I've showed you, the emotional level, the mental level, and the spiritual level. And when you've completed um, all four levels and emptied the contents of your unconscious, you're conscious about everything that's in here, um, your game is complete. The game doesn't tell people what to do, but it, through interacting with it, through interacting with the cards and the processes and the squares, and actually also with the other players who also have perspectives and suggestions and support to offer. Um, it's out of that interaction that um, people come up with their own solutions. It's like having a kind of like a, a partner in some ways that, or a friend that, um, you know, kind of just offers you different perspectives. But it's, it's very much up to you. You interpret your game, you make sense of it.